Superloop is an Australian based network service provider. We have an employee base of around about 300 people. We have offices in Sydney, Brisbane, Melbourne, Perth, Singapore and Hong Kong. Superloop is a provider of dark fibre. We have around about 700 kilometres uh, of carrier grade fibre in the ground on the east coast of Australia as well as in Singapore and Hong Kong. We've also recently brought in production a submarine cable. This is the first submarine cable between Sydney and Perth and we also have another leg from Perth to Singapore. So when I get in the morning, I jump on Kentic and have a look to see how much traffic we've done uh, over the peak of the night before. I'm always interested to see whether we've broken a record because we seem to be doing that fairly regularly lately. Some of the benefits of Kentic is on the operational cost side, to see where our traffic is going from and to with various autonomous systems. That gives us the ability to see the costs that we are paying for that traffic with our transit providers and see if we have the opportunity to peer with those providers to save the cost there. Other benefits are around DDoS traffic, so we can provide a service to our customers to scrub dirty traffic coming in and provide them with a clean feed. The main users of Kentic in our organisation is network engineering and architecture. Other groups also use the reporting functions like the Global Operations Centre, as well as the executive. We provide a lot of reports to the executive on how traffic trends are changing and if there's any major incidents that have occurred on the network. Before Kentic, when we were using the open source tools, we'd get some information or it would take a lot of time to, to dig through all the information and get what we actually needed. So Kentic now gives us all that information at our fingertips, makes it easy to search for the information and find what we need very quickly. My advice to anyone who is considering Kentic is to get into it, get a trial, import your data and start playing with it. Dig into that information that you have and you'll end up finding some information that you never even knew about.